slice down this heat shrink and we'll see if we can desolder. See if we can desolder this, give us a bit more wire to work with. So just remove the heat shrink. I have seen people cowboy these and just solder the wires together and remove the fuse altogether. It's up to you if you want to do that. I wouldn't like to say what would happen if something shorted out in the impact driver. You may well have a battery go bang. So like I was saying, we've got loads of Makita content on this channel, loads of repair, restoration videos, and I'm about to do a marathon battery repair. There we are. So now we can get to those two solder joints. A bit of fresh solder. Um, so yeah, if you've got faulty Makita batteries and you're interested in getting them working again or just having a look in them and seeing how they work and why they stop working, then subscribe because that's the next video that will be out after this video. This is taking so long to. There we go, there's one. Soldering eye is nearly empty, that's why it's a bit. Slow to get the temperature up. So, like I say, I've seen quite a few of these with the same fault. Let's put that there. Chop a bit of heat shrink off. I nearly just soldered it straight on. <laughs> and I thought I can't do that. Let's put the heat shrink on there. Just get a new, new fuse, a bit of solder, tin it up. Such an easy thing to repair. Just so you can see it, actually, you just got to solder that. Onto that, hold it still, bump. Get rid of this extra heat shrink, otherwise, it's going to get in the way when we come to solder that on. There we are. 
sort of heat shrink up over the wiring, melt it down. And there you go. That has then should fix the electronics in this one. So you should. Could be a reason that the fuse is blown other than a drill impact driver, sorry. Was over exerted too many pixies. Ah, well, looking good. Got lights on. Yep, see, so, there you go. The LED. Where's the mic saw? That LED is annihilated. Oh, hey, look at that. It does work. Hey, that's good. So there you go. So that's one common problem is that the um, little fuse blows in there and that just proves it because we just fixed it with that so if you're pulling the trigger the motor's spinning but nothing's happening at that end then the most common issue with that is what we've got going on with this here and don't know if you can see that there's something missing right here all those teeth have snapped off those teeth go into the back of this gearbox and they spin so if you hear the motor spinning, but you're, it's not spinning the gears, you need a new one of these. These are available for about £30. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Makita content. See you soon. Bye.